It is Q&A Friday. If you've got a voiceover question, make sure you jump in the live stream chat, share your name, where you're watching or listening from, and enter your question. I'll get to some of those in just a moment. Good morning. How's it going? TGIF. I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent and uh, career coach and demo producer. And every weekday morning, I jump on this live stream for a few minutes just to share a thought, tip, strategy, something to help further you and your voiceover career, specifically helping you make more money as a voiceover talent. And by the way, this channel, in case you didn't know, has over a thousand videos. And I'm so grateful uh, that you've subscribed. And if you haven't, make sure you do. Subscribe, like, share, you know, all that good stuff. But it's uh, it's hard to believe, you know, how many subscribers we have now. We're about, about 70,000. I don't know how many, I think several million views. I don't, I don't know all the numbers. Uh, actually, I don't even watch that all that closely, but I'm just thrilled to be on here every morning and to have you here as well. So while you're formulating your questions, I've got a question for you. And that is, and I want you to think about this for a second. What if, I want you to imagine your brand new voiceover talent. And not that you would ever struggle with this or have this experience, but imagine that you don't have the confidence to really dig in because maybe you don't even really know what to do. Or if you do know what to do, maybe, let's say you've watched all a thousand of my videos and, and, but, but still it's just like, ah, I just don't have the confidence to actually pull the trigger and do the stuff that I need to do. And what if this happens? And what if I screw up? And again, not that that would ever happen to you, but imagine that's a possibility. Or let's say you're, you've already been doing this for a while. You've got some paid jobs under your belt. You're moving along, but it's not what you want it to be. You're not making as much as you want or think that you should be, but you're not quite sure how to take it to the next level. How do you add from where you're at, how do you add another fifty, a hundred thousand dollars or more and to continue growing your voiceover business? What if, what if I invited you to come join me in the studio? Say, look, and this would be all about the marketing and growing part of your voiceover business, the stuff that grows the business, the stuff that maybe you feel like you maybe lack a little bit of information on, or more likely. You're just afraid to do. You're, you're afraid to pick up the telephone. You're afraid to reach out because you don't know what to say. What about all the auditioning that's involved? What if I said, you know, don't worry about it. I want to come sit beside me in the studio because I'm going to do it. I'm not going to pretend to do it. I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to pick up, the, I'm going to make some phone calls. I want you to hear me talk to, to, a, to a prospective client. I want you to hear how I interact with prospective clients. I want you to see what I write, hear what I say. I want you to watch the process of me doing additions for people. Uh, the things that I do to grow my business and continue to do to grow my business. I want to show you how I do that. What would you take that opportunity if you had it, if you had the opportunity to do it? What would that be worth to you? Well, this is your invitation. And for under a hundred bucks, 97 bucks, and I've been offering it this week and today's the last day. This ends tonight at midnight. Eastern time. It's my behind the scenes bundle. And that's exactly what that, what this is. I actually turned on the camera as I was working. And the idea is this, that I can show you in about an hour. If you're newer at this, it may take you a little longer than that. If you've been doing this for a while, it may take you a little less than that. But the, but the routine, the daily routine, I'm going to take you through and show you that routine as I do it so that you can just simply watch and repeat what I do. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about getting everything you need to know or making mistakes. It's just do what I do because I've been doing this for, well, going on 18 years now and, uh, continue to grow, you know, and, and do voiceovers and, and I've recorded over 10,000 paid jobs and that's what I want for you as well. So if that, if you feel like that's the gap between where you are and where you want to be, it's that you just need somebody to say, to sit down with you and say, here, do this, watch me. Watch me do this. Watch me do this. Watch me as I work on this. That's what this is. But this is today only. Link is in the description below. Go check it out. All right. Hey, thanks for your questions. I see they're filling up in the live stream chat. So let's take a look here. We've got Rob Ryder, by the way. We've got to acknowledge Rob Ryder is first on the live stream chat this morning. I think that's the first for you, Rob. You're here every morning, but I think this is the first time you've been first in line. So thanks. Thanks for being here. 
Steve is, is he's shocked. He says, Friday already? Hope everyone had a productive week. You know, it's interesting. Um, you know, it's been fun, you know, post-pandemic, of course, pandemic cut every, you know, a lot of people just didn't, sur- a lot of businesses didn't survive. And those that did budgets got cut, got cut. And so uh, regardless of what business you were in, most, most people, you know, didn't make quite as much during the pandemic if they were, you know, even if they were able to keep their job. And so in, in, in voiceover, I saw a dip in my income and I still, I still did fine, but there was a dip. So I had to keep, you know, you keep doing the marketing, you keep doing the stuff that you need to do. And it's been fun now coming out of the other end of that to see traction and, and to get new clients from all of the effort, you know, all that marketing effort starts to pay off again. And, uh, what's interesting is my career, I've always done commercial work, but that's never been like the biggest part of what I do. But now as I'm starting this resurgence, a lot of the work that I'm getting is commercial work. And I was contacted about booking like three commercial sessions yesterday. It's crazy. You just, when you continue, when you, every day, when you're, you're doing your marketing, which I liken to planning, it's, it's like being a farmer and planting a field. It's planting those seeds and you plant those seeds and then all of a sudden they start to sprout and you're, you know, and it's just, it's, unless you've done it, it's hard to explain, but there is such a satisfaction and an excitement and a joy to watch all that hard work begin to come to fruition. And so, um, so anyhow, that's been fun. And I hope you're experiencing that as well. And if you're not, again, check out the link in the description. Oh, let's see here. Kirk, what's happening in Lincoln, Nebraska? John. Hey, good to have you here this morning. Patrick in Maryland. Melissa, good morning to you. Happy Friday in San Diego. Thanks for being here. Phil in Tokyo, hope you're doing well tonight. And Steve, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Crazy Vibes says, hey, Bill. (laughs) What's up, Crazy Vibes? Rusty, good morning to you in the UP of Michigan. We got Miss Johnny in Houston in the house. Carl Lynn in Lake Como, Italy. Greetings to all. Happy weekend. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Colin. Dr. Bob in Clearwater, Florida. What's going on? David in Louisville. Hope you're doing well, David. Uh, Bob is in Reedsville, North Carolina. Hey, Bob, Kathleen, free Roman, Wyoming. Is that like on your license plate or something? Free Roman, Wyoming. Love it. Wade in Philadelphia. You have a good weekend as well. Greg in Nashville, North Carolina. Dan, what's going on? In Clarkston, Michigan. John in Rhinebeck, New York, Jason in Mobile, Alabama, Tim in the Smoky Mountains of Pennsylvania. And we've got Tom and Rhonda in Terrell, Texas, or Terrell, Texas. Good morning, Shannon in Odessa, Texas. MG, what's going on in North Carolina? Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, you're going to think that I actually planted this and I didn't. Uh, it comes from somebody in New York. Great tips. I bought the behind the scenes package I just talked about, $97. 20 minutes later, I have three clients. D- give me more details about that, if, if you don't mind. So you got the package, you watch the train. 20 minutes later, you have three new clients. That's amazing. I think you may have broken any records that I had set. That's that's fantastic. And congrats. That's what I love to hear. That's amazing. Uh, okay, where my stream just moved on me. Here we go. Tess, how are you doing in Decula, Georgia? We've got Sherry in New York. So grateful for all your encouragement and the resources you make available. Looking forward to commencing your behind the scenes bundle pronto. Fantastic. Uh, good day from Louisville. Last week, I sent in my first edition. I am so excited. You should be. You know, you don't get the work until you don't get the work until you do the work. And part of that is, you know, doing auditions. Um, Curtis, good morning to you in Columbus, Georgia. Sherry in Amarillo, Texas. I'm wondering if there's a way to find scripts for IVR demos. Um, you know, most everything I get, I get off of YouTube, um, in terms of IVR, you know, I don't know. I I Google it. I I bet there's something online. I'm just willing to bet just search IVR scripts or start calling some companies that have, you know, IVR systems. Most companies do and just record it and then go back and transcribe it. Oh, let's see here. Uh, good morning. 
from Long Island. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? Toledo, good morning. Tom in Indianapolis. Paul in Cumberland, Maryland, trying to get his audio right to record the first DIY demo. Struggling, but moving forward. Paul, and let me just say, if you're having a hard time with audio, which, by the way, would not make you the first. It's, uh, you know, that's always a bit of a challenge, um, especially if you don't have a background on audio. But you can reach out. Alex DeWeese is an, is an audio engineer. This is what he does full time is he works with voiceover talent and helping them to get pro quality audio from their home setup. You can reach out to him at Alex, A-L-E-X, at BillDeWeese.com. Kim in Kingston, Ontario. Mark, good morning. Steve in Rockford, Illinois. The home of the uh, 70s rock band. I think they're still playing. Cheap Trick. Mike, good morning to you. Two productions of mine just won awards. Whoa. Hey, congrats on that. That's fantastic. That always feels good. Uh, Scotty in Brookings, South Dakota. Good morning to you. Hey, Shannon in the foothills of California. Oh, the stream just moved on me. Hold on, hold on. Let me find my place. Randy says the smoke has cleared in Salisbury, Maryland. Fantastic. That means it's going to keep working its way to the south. We, it was hazy here on Sunday here in Southern Ohio. I would imagine, imagine it's dissipating a bit, but man, it's, it's amazing what something like that can do. Um, Mark in Eaton, Ohio, garage sale or voiceover? I'll pick voiceover any day of the week. I will pick voiceover. Good morning to you, JR in Austin, Texas, Eric in Richmond, Albert in Lorraine, Ohio. Uh, let's see here. Igor from St. Petersburg, uh, Russia, that is. Hey, Igor, good morning or good good evening to you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate that. We've got, uh, let's see, good morning, Atlanta. A warm lead turned into three clients. The office manager called them to called them to call me. Wow. that's uh, So that's what happened after going through the training. That's amazing. But, uh, you know, and it starts with actually doing the work. You picked up a telephone. It's not, the only, it's not the only way to get work, by the way. This is not just a tutorial on how to use the phone, but that uh, certainly can be a big part of it if you choose to make that part of your strategy, which I do recommend. James, uh, life is good, and so is golf. When you're, yeah, life is always better when you're playing golf. Especially if you play with me, because I'm the kind of guy that will make you feel really good about your game. Scott says that 97 bucks is a fantastic deal. Thank you, Scotty. Enjoy. Hey, Will in Michigan, Jack in Phoenix, Joe Lee. I had a Fiverr client ask for an offer for 200 words. Very enthusiastic until the sample I sent. I said 20 bucks with rights and revisions. He goes to me after that, what to do. Well, nothing you can do about that. That's, I mean, that's part and parcel of a voiceover. I mean, specifically on, you know, on freelance sites. Uh, you know, he's probably putting that out to like a hundred different people. So you forget about it and you move on. You know, my, my, my philosophy is hold on loosely. You hold on loosely to everything. You know, you know, auditions, I set them and forget them. I record them. I send them out. I don't give them another. I literally, I forget about them. I just don't allow myself to even think about it. Uh, if they contact me back, great. If not, you know, I'm moving on when I'm doing marketing, whether it's phone calls, email, doesn't matter. You do it, you forget about it and you keep moving on. Cause if you hold on to stuff, it's passed by. It's like you did it. And now, and you're still looking back here and you're saying, what, what, what about this? Uh, let's, let me check online. Let me see how many people has, any, has anybody listened to my demo yet? Do they give me a thumbs up? If you're doing that kind of nonsense, man, you're missing out because you're looking you know, your face is in the rear view mirror looking out the back window and you're missing all the stuff that's coming at you. So you just, as it comes out, you, you do the opportunities as they come up and you let them pass by like leaves floating on a stream. They go by, you don't even, don't worry about them anymore. You keep moving forward. That's the only way to be successful in life. Because if you're always looking in your rear view mirror, you're living in the past and hoping for things that you have no control over. And you're missing all the opportunities that are right in front of you. So oh, there's, your, there's your word of wisdom today. Keep the nose pointed forward, not backward. And the, you'll, you'll catch the opportunities that are coming your way. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. 
Uh, let's see, Carl in. I had a fantastic question earlier while cleaning the house, but forgot what it was. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? No, I hear you. I, you know, I have my best thoughts, like when I'm in the shower, when I can't do anything about it, that's when the brilliant stuff comes, you know, comes to mind half of the time, which I forget by the time I'm out of the shower. Um, Hey, Steve, thank you. That's right. Be like Ron Popeil. Uh, set it and, or send it in this case and forget it guys. Thanks for being here. Remember my behind the scenes bundle. I want to sit down and show you what's going on, but this is it. This is the last day under a hundred bucks. Go below, check it out in the description, get it. Most importantly, watch it, study it, and then do it, do it, do it, do it. Because if you don't do it, nothing happens. You can do all the training you want. You can watch all the videos you want. But if you don't actually do the stuff, do the work, it's just maybe at best entertainment and at worst, just a waste of your time because you didn't act on it. So uh, get it done, do the thing and have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you on Monday.